All right, so in this video, I'm gonna try to find the blue area of this shape right here. So to start, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna label this entire side as R sub two. And I'm gonna label half of this side as R sub one. So now, the entire area of this blue region here is going to be pi times r sub 1 squared over 2. Because remember, the area of a circle is pi times r squared. And this is half of a circle, so it's going to be pi times r squared over 2. And the radius in this case is r sub 1. Now for this, this is going to be pi times r sub 2 squared over 4 because this is one fourth of an actual circle. So now from here, this is R sub one, this is also R sub one because R sub one is half of the entire side length. So now from here, what I wanna find is the value of pi times R sub one squared over two plus pi times R sub two squared over four because that is the total area of the blue region. So how am I gonna do this? Well, R sub two, we know, is equal to two times R sub one, because R sub one is half the entire side length and R sub two is the total side length. So now that we know this, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna plug in over here, I'm gonna plug in pi times two squared times r, r sub two over squared over four, because r sub two is equal to two times r sub one. So, sorry, this is actually supposed to be r sub one squared over four. So now from here, two squared is equal to four. So I get pi times r sub one squared over two plus pi times four times r sub one squared over four. And from here, This is the same thing as pi times r sub one squared over two plus two pi times r sub one squared over two. So I divided by two, so the four changes into two and the four over here also changes into a two. So now I can actually add these two up because they both have the same denominator. So this turns into three pi, because pi plus two pi is three pi, times r sub one squared over two. So this is what we need to find. So all we need to do is find the value of r sub one, and we can know the total area of the blue region. So going back over here, let me make a fresh new image. I'm going to create a triangle right over here. So this triangle is a combination of R sub one and two times R sub one, because I put this total length as my hypotenuse and R sub one as my edge over here. So we know that this side length is four centimeters. And this total side length is going to be r sub one plus two times r sub one. And this side length is just r sub one. So I get r sub one squared plus four squared is equal to three times r sub one squared using the Pythagorean theorem. And now this turns into r sub one squared 
plus 16 is equal to 9 times r sub 1 squared. Now I'm going to subtract r sub squared, r, r1 of squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get 16 is equal to 8 times r sub 1 squared, meaning 2 is equal to r sub 1 squared, and the square root of 2 is equal to r sub 1. So now that I know that the square root of 2 is equal to r sub 1, I can plug this back in to here. So I get that the area of my blue region is 3 pi times the square root of 2 squared over 2, which turns into 3 pi times 2 over 2. So then these two cancel out, and I get the area of my blue region as 3 pi.